so hi guys and welcome back to my video okay welcome back to my channel okay so today we are going to talk about few uh, physiology courses okay so they are from different platform coursera future learn and this year udemy okay now for physiology there are many many courses like i think i'm i'm going to show you 13 different courses okay so i will be little fast and you know these like you know if it is not like anatomy in anatomy we were like pretty basic but when you come to physiology you have to be uh, in depth okay and there are many different branches of physiology that will be covered here okay so the first topic which actually I did uh, one, of the, one of the most initial courses which I did in my I think I was in uh, 12th standard or 11th uh, so this was introduction to human physiology by Duke University and they are really they have really good animations and all and uh, it really is going to open your concepts about physiology okay how is actual how is like you can do this at a beginner level and uh, you will understand uh, a lot about deep physiology okay De not like deep physiology and de in depth of what what actually basically how these things are actually um, uh, build up in physiology okay how this research was done so uh, this is a really good course and uh, if, if, if you belong to any uh, physiology side, if you like any biological side, then human physiology is a good course, okay? Now the next course, this is also a really, uh, this is a bit advanced course by St. Uh, Peterson, St. Saint, uh, Peterson State University, yes, yes, okay, this is on heart physiology, okay? Uh, I'm telling you in, in, the, in advance that in this list there are going to be really cardiophysiology courses because it is really popular and it is used a lot um, in field. So uh, many courses from cardiac physiology you will find. I think I should make a separate video, a separate section for cardiophysiology. But um, I'm not making it. So this is one of the course and it's a good course. It's on Coursera, 12 to 15 hours. You can do this if you, you don't want a paid version. Okay, the other courses I think they all have only they are only available for paid. Okay, so you are actually uh, doing your physiology and if you uh, feel a bit un uncomfortable uh, while studying physiology, then this course is due like uh, for specifically for cardiac physiology. Okay. And uh, you know, if you are ca cardiac physiology is good, then you will understand your renal physiology also. Some serious topics will also be covered in it. Uh, CNS, sorry. And then a lot more uh, things, okay? Because you know, heart is uh, the, the cardiovascular system that actually controls a lot about things, okay? Cardio as well as CNS, both are really important. Now, the next topic, this is a bit uh, uh, eccentric, uh, like uh, because uh, this is by University of Illinois Urbana, and this is the uh, lactation uh, biology, okay? So, you know, uh, when you are studying uh, physiology, then uh, you f everybody focus on uh, cardiophysiology and neuro, neuro uh, CNS, but reproductive physiology, some people focus, but lactation physiology is really um, not focused by a lot of people. So, you can do this course because, you know, lactation is really, um, it's a beautiful phase of life and uh, you will learn a lot about things and uh, many students don't know it even if you ask me questions about um, lactation biology i won't be able to answer and they're really important for life okay so if you want to go to OBGYN, then uh, then definitely i'm going to uh, suggest you do this course but if you are just like if you want to become a nursing in the OBGYN, this this course is really important and if you have any questions then you can learn about uh, lactation physiology and you will uh, learn a lot uh, uh, in depth uh, things okay and for this course, you should have some basic reproductive knowledge, okay? Other reproductive system knowledge, okay? Otherwise, you will feel, you don't, you will not understand the terminology which is being used, okay? Now, this next course, this is, I think, one of the best course for physiology in this section. And this is vital signs and understanding what the body is telling you, okay? This is from Coursera. Now, this is one of the best courses. The reason is because this course doesn't talk about like system wise, like uh, cardiovascular system or your uh, uh, pigmentary system, CNS or GIT. This course talks about your signs and symptoms which you can measure. Like they will talk about temperature. They will they talk about uh, blood pressure. They will talk about a heart rate. So even uh, so, different um, uh, sections are there on the basis of these. Okay, so this is more like that's why they are vitals. Okay, uh, so there is no acid base here. Otherwise, acid base can also they can add. So you can watch that in some other uh, some YouTube video. Okay, I'll add them. I think I have them. Okay. So, uh, you know, these things uh, will really going to help you in your clinical posting. So, if you are in from nursing or from medical side, okay, then this course is must for you. And even if you are a homemaker, then also you should know, right, right, ki BP kya hai, like you should know what is BP and what is temperature and how do you check heart rate and how do you, what do you, what does, what does it mean? You like, like if you take the temperature and you get a 104 degree Celsius, then, uh, oh, sorry, 104, 104 degree Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Then you should know that uh, um, what what does it mean, okay? And then uh, then you can go to doctor. Of course, you can't treat 104 degree Fahrenheit at home, okay? Well, I can, you can't. 
now the next is really interesting and this is um, uh, science of exercise okay so this is also really good course like uh, i have done this course and i have seen a lot of my body doesn't think i have done it but i have done the course okay and uh, you will understand a lot of good things okay this is by really good university university of colorado boulder and you know a lot more a lot of courses which are really fake courses are there on the on the web this is not one of them this is a really good course so if you will learn a lot about uh, exercise physiology it's really a difficult topic exercise physiology is not easy and hardly anything is discovered right now there are so many changes like i uh, when if came then a lot of things changed and uh, in future also there are chances that a lot of things are going to change because the things which we are doing right now doesn't work as predicted so a lot of research is available in this and the research is really high paid research if you do something from in the science of exercise and if you discover something then you can become a billionaire okay so this is a good course then we come to future learns so of in on for future learn we have just one course and that is uh, your yeah, uh, university of uh, liverpool and this is the physiology science of life and you will study basic physiology so this is basically a course for like school students not for like Uh, a medical student or if you are just in a medical related like if you are in from commerce side and you and want to enter medical related job and so you need to l- want to talk to people on in the field then you can do courses like these okay this is a 9 to 10 hours co- course and you will uh, really get uh, the physiology what the people around you are talking about okay then we have cardiac anatomy and physiology this is by in udemy so i told you cardiac anatomy and physiology you are going to uh, see a lot okay and this is one of the highest rated cardiology courses on the internet and you will get a lot of in depth knowledge of the physiology and anatomy of heart and i'm telling you it's a bit difficult topic so you because you know when you talk about cardiology then you need to know about the physics also because a lot of pressure things and all these graphs and all that stuff is going to come uh, in handy and uh, you will you may get uh, confused and because i got a lot of con- confusion when i was studying that even still i am confused so it's not that easy uh, the next is the master in physiology now this is very basic the most simplest physiology course that is available in the world okay so on the web uh, so you can do that and um, well why do you do that do that i don't know but it's okay then we have a really good course now uh, uh, on uh, coursera uh, on on udemy okay so on or udemy mostly all the courses are paid but these two next courses which i'm going to tell you are free courses the first is the physio- physiological changes during pregnancy and a- antenatal care so if you are uh, a pregnant lady or if your wife is pregnant or uh, if you want to know about the antenatal care then this course is really good because this is going to a lot tell you about the lot of physiological changes that are going to happen in your body okay in your uh, reproductive system okay and in your breast and like in the body what is what all things are going to happen because there are going to things there are things going to happen in your body and they are really good things and so you, you can understand these things and if you have some doubts then you can you then everything will be cleared by this course and whenever some change happen then uh, you won't be uh, uh, in trouble like you won't think like ye kya ho gaya yaar so nothing's going to happen like that okay and then we have another course on sleep this is also free because everybody wants to know about sleep everybody is interested in sleep so everybody some people want to sleep and somebody want to study about sleep and reduce the sleep so you can do this course and uh, you will learn a lot okay and then we have another uh, now this is not a course this is actually i'm talking about an author this is professor n kumar md phd msc ms a lot of degrees okay from frcp edinburgh also so you can vi- visit his uh, udemy pages and there are a lot of cardiology and cardiophysiology related courses okay so and they all are certificate courses so you can do these courses and you can uh, get employed in somewhere related to cardiology okay so okay there were 12 courses okay so this was a lot and uh, i hope you really enjoyed this course it was 10 and 11 this is actually 11 i have to uh, correct it so there were 11 courses and i think you must have enjoyed this um, like Uh, if you find it helpful i guess if you find it helpful then please uh, comment down below and uh, if you find any other course then do um, message me or uh, comment down below okay and i'll add so uh, i think you can visit bookeshi for all this stuff and uh, take care and god bless you so thank you